Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you again. We on Lake Monticello. I drove a long ways to get here this morning, but uh, hey, we on the we on the lake over here today. Trying to we gonna try to catch some white perch and maybe a few catfish. On Lake Monticello, hadn't been here in a long time. We're dropping down for the first time. We're gonna see what happens. See if there's anything here. Already had a bite. Hey, already had a bite. We in 20 foot of water, and I think it's some perch out here. Look at that. Huh, I think it's some perch out here already. I'm getting a bite. Hey, not real big, but they're white perch. And Lord have mercy, it's been a while since I caught any white perch. And uh, we're going to put them in the drum because I ain't got any white perch. We decided to take a break from Lake Murray and we drove a long ways to get here because the bridge is still uh, closed down at uh, Penner Bridge at, on uh, 213. Uh, and uh, hey, but we over here, and we're going to see if we can catch a couple. And I believe they're down there, too. Look at him. Already got them going. We got the double rig on. We got a, a gup, a live minnow, and a uh, triple ripple, and we catching them two at a time. Hey, they hadn't been, I hadn't been here in a while, so they might be wide open. Who knows? A gup minnow and a triple ripple on a double rig with a 16th head is what we're using, and it looks like the fish are here. I don't know how long they'll stay, but it looks like they're here. Hey, we're changing pace today, getting out of the bass fishing over in Lake Murray. So many boats over there now. They got a big bass tournament coming up this weekend. And, and hey, we over here catching white perch. Look at him. Huh? What? <laughs> they're not whoppers, but they white perch. So we're going to be cleaning some white perch today, it looks like. And it's shallow. It's 20 foot. 20 foot deep. Hey, glad y'all can be with the old fisherman on another episode of Loving Life. We got a new setup here today. Uh, Clay and my son Adam, both my sons, hey, for my birthday, whoo, we got a good one right there. For my birthday, they bought me a, uh, uh, a speaker, well, a microphone um, that hooks up. It's a solid wire all the way back, and I got it mounted right up here. Uh, where I'm fishing, and I hope it's going to help my uh, sound, hopefully, that y'all can hear me better all the time, so we're giving that a shot today on this lake, and uh, hey, we got a few fish out here, like I say, don't know what size they are, but we're going to catch them, as long as they'll bite, might not be that many jumbo magnums, I don't know, and they might quit, I don't know, hey, but I don't think there's been a lot of people over here fishing for them. And, uh, hey, they, we might be catching them by surprise. I see the bottom is covered. So all we got to do, I got to put a better jig on this. I'm trying to experiment and see what they'll hit the best. Probably hit anything. Uh, we had the up a live metal on them. It broke up. I'm going to see I'm gonna see if they hit the big daddy jig, blue and green. We're going to drop it down. Try it. We got them all over the bottom. 22 foot, they fish everywhere. Like I say, I don't know how big they are, but they're there. And there's plenty of them. Fish find us covered. They they biting it too, buddy. Let me tell you, they biting it. Let me drop it back down. They down there. We get in some big ones, that's gonna be fun. We need to catch some perch. Oh, there you go. He nailed it. He nailed it. Oh my, he nailed it. I brought me some worms to try to catfish over them rocks a little bit. I don't know if we will or not. Now, he didn't hit the uh, Big Daddy G. He hit the uh, Triple Ripple. So they might not want the Big Daddy. Might have to put the Gup Alive Metal and the Triple Ripple on this morning. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, loving life. I love this lake. I missed it. It's so doggone far. I didn't think I was going to ever get here. I drove 35 miles. One way. Hey, that's about how far it is uh, round trip, the old route. So, hey, we driving a long ways to get here now. The tapering off, they're quitting. They ain't hitting like they were. I reckon they put that gulp alive metal back out there. That's what they want. That looks like what that's what they want. Hey, they bumping at it. They ain't taking it now. I put that dog on the uh, big daddy jig on. I'm gonna take it off. Put the gulp alive metal back on. I ain't trying to spade tail jig now. I tell you, uh, it's hard to beat this gub alive metal. I don't know what it is, they love it. 
I'll tell you that right now. They love it. They love it if you can get it straight. Kind of crooked. I think they'll bite it. Just like that. Put it down there. And it was on fire for a second, though. But that was, a, hey, that was your first start, and they do that a lot. Drop back down, see if we stir them up again. There you You hit it. They down there, they just don't want to take it. They're bumping at it now. They, they was taking it at first, now they're starting to bump at it. Hey, we got a couple, that's what counts. We know they'll bite. We know they'll bite. They should be postponed now. There you go. Oh Lord, that's a catfish. That's a catfish. That's a catfish. That, my friend, is a catfish. Yes, sir. Old kitty cat. Then come up and hit that, hit one of them. Probably go up alive and money if I had to guess. Old kitty cat. Yep, go up alive and money. Old kitty cat. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I ain't got no catfish either, so that's 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 a nice treat. That dog gonna go up alive and money. find my needle nose and not tear up my gup alive manna. Alright. If uh, any of y'all want to buy um, sunglasses from flux if you uh if you type in on the code it's called uh flux uh flux steve 10 and uh you can get a discount i don't know how much they didn't tell me how much you said a discount so if you go to purchase uh through my link uh through amazon uh if you go to uh, the blog and oh there you go and click on the blog and go to the Flux Sunglasses and then type in the code uh, Flux Steve 10. You uh you can get a discount, or so they tell me. So give it a try if you want to buy a pair of these Flux Sunglasses that we got here. Hey, I like them. But uh, hey, loving life. It's what we doing. I do love this place because it's quiet over here compared to Lake Murray. Lake Murray is so doggone uh, loud. I mean, it is loud. It's somebody with a blower or something going on all the time with all them houses over here is like a peaceful world. It's just a whole different ball game. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to get on Lake Monticello. You're more in the nature. You ain't got all this doggone uh, houses in the way and people working in the yards. And uh, Hey, I just love it. All of a sudden now they quit. I still see them. They quit. See if we can beat the boat. I haven't beat the boat lately. And it might drive you crazy. Right here at the speaker. We're going to beat the boat a little bit. Let's see what happens. It's slowing up on me. I hope we go over on the rocks and catch some catfish, but I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been here. I still see fish down there, but they ain't taking it like they were. They kind of getting immune to me. We might have to do the angle. Pull it down, you're gonna try to get them to bite. They're slowing up. I can feel it. They quitting. So let's uh let's move around and get the angle. Let it down, pull the boat up, and see if we can pull in the 45, see if we want to take it. They get like that, they get immune to you. It don't take them long now. You start catching them. That element of surprise will get them right there at first and then they quit. And they quit. See you. They just had to get that angle. They still ain't the big ones. Hopefully we get on some big ones before the day's over. Hopefully. Just got to keep searching to get the right spot. That's what you got to do. Get the right spot to catch them. All right, let's drop it down. Boy, we got them under us now. That beating the boat might have caused something. Hadn't used my pole in a while to beat the boat. Uh-oh. I'm going to tell you, that I can tell. they all down there. I'm going to go to a different jig now. Looks like it might be some bass and catfish down there. Hey, you. He is way up in. Run up and got it. All I'm doing is basically reeling it up, but they're not the size I'm looking for. 
I'll be honest with you. These are not the size I'm looking for. They small. Hey, they're real small. I hate to throw them back because a lot will run them off. Oh boy, it's a beautiful day. Now it's supposed to be 90 degrees. Hey, you can get in catfish weather 90 degrees, let me tell you. And catfish love to bite when it's 90 degrees over here. The hotter the better for them catfish. And these perch too sometimes and the post fall like this. We just gotta get on the right size ones. They out here somewhere. And big ones out here somewhere. See, they bumping at it, but they ain't taking it. The little ones is what it is. Not the right size. Hopefully we get on some bigger fish. Oh, they bumping it every time I go to move it. But they ain't taking it. Hey ya, hey ya. See if we can make a nothing bite. I don't know. Mighty little. They're just little is what it is. They're babies. Boy, if you was going for catfish bait, now you'd have something right here. They're tearing up this dog on the gub live minute, I can tell you that. Tearing it up. They're hitting it a lot better than they are that triple ripple. I'm gonna take the triple ripple off and put a dog on a um, bay tail jig on it from Big Daddy and see if they'll take it. That's what I'm fixing to do. Looks like around 20 foot's where I, where they started and that's where I'm still at. 21, 20, 21. But they tapering off big time. We never did get into jumbos. So, hey, that ain't a good sign. We might have to stir around. But they still hitting though. Jokers are still there, they just don't want to take it. They ain't taking it like they should. I can tell you that. They ain't taking it like they should. We're going to put another jig on this top one. I ain't, I ain't liking that triple ripple right now. Put a bigger jig on. Let's see if we can find a big daddy flat stay tail. There's a blue spade tail. Let's try it. I don't know if they'll bite it or not. It looks like it's been used, but hey, they might bite it. See if they'll bite it. Give it a shot, anyhow. Hey, you got to give it a shot. See if they'll bite it. I'm not seeing them like I was, though. Let me tell you. I'm not seeing them like I was. He hit it. What it is, they settle right back down at the bottom. Stir them up and then they go right back down at the bottom. They hitting it, but they ain't they little. We gotta move around and try to find some bigger fish, I believe. That's what it looks like. Give it a few more seconds. They ain't want it. They don't quit. Caught a few. I mean a very few. They bumping it, but they ain't taking it. What they do. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Little one. We got to go find a bigger fish. I mean, that's a respectable size you can eat him but he ain't no whopper by no man he ain't no whopper by no means he ain't hitting that spade tail jig hey they're not hitting that spade tail jig keep changing around it's something they want Let's try the blue ice Bay tail. I don't know what size share that they, that they're feeding on out there right now. They probably should be pretty good size though. This lake you got a lot of big ones in it. Woo, that's fish all over the place right now. Uh, 24 foot and the bottom is covered. 
Right there's where your fish is. Hard to hit it as soon as it gets down, hopefully. I don't have a three rig uh, fixed up. If I did, I'd, I'd put it out. They hit it right there. Look at that. Hey, the big ones out there now. It might be the big ones moved in. Huh? This might be the big ones moved in. Oh my. That's a nice one right there. Two. Two nice ones. Look at that. Huh? Two nice ones. Oh my. You got to love this. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. A white bird is biting again. And we caught one on that spade tail jig also. Hey, you got to love that. Hey, we loving life today. Back to the old fishing of white perch. Getting a little deeper and I'm seeing more fish. That's what I'm doing. I'm seeing more fish. Drop it back down to the bottom with a big boys lie. I'm thinking that big boys out there. I'm thinking that. Hey, oh, he hit it. There he is again, boy, they hit it. Listen, they tearing it up, and I'm missing it. I'll back down. Hey, oh, he's hitting it. Hey, oh, Lord, they hit it all the way up. <laughs> they hit it all the way up. I'm about to the top, and they're still running. Uh-oh, they took my dog on. <laughs> they took my dog guppa live minnow. Got to put a nothing on there. Boy, they sucking all my guppa live minnows up, let me tell you. They are sucking all my gup alive metals up. Put it on spot lock. I'm, I'm thinking there's a lot of fish right in here. Drop it back down. Oh, they was. Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my. That's a medium size. Still ain't got the super for springs, but hey, we catching some small ones. It's nice to get back on the white perch. Show sure is. Mighty nice. Alright, let's drop them back down. Boy, we got them under us too. They there. Hey, they there. First place I stopped around here, and uh, I stopped before I got here. I ain't catching that the other old spot, but hey, there's some here. Oh, Lord, he nailed it. He nailed it. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, my, he's pulling. What? Oh, my. <laughs> old fisherman loving it. Hey, brings back memories with these white perch. Good memories. I mean, good memories. I know y'all's getting tired of me fishing. Doggone largemouth, so. Hey, it was hard not to go largemouth fishing, though. Them fun to catch, too, now. But uh, these perch are really fun, also. We might, rest of this week and weekend, we might just stay over here for a while. See what we can do. It's just a long ride. Long ride. But they biting. Hey, it might be worth it. They biting. They biting good. Look at him. What? We're gonna get some white perch to eat. White perch fillets. You can't beat them. Hey, they good eating. Oh my! They, the bottom is covered, people. I mean covered. You have got to love it. It's all over the bottom. Oh, oh there he is. Oh my! We killing them, ain't we? We killing them. That's all I can say. Is we killing them. <laughs> Ain't got but one, but he's little, but we killing him. Hey, day. Go on back, boy. We killing him. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Hey, y'all be sure to go to uh, stevecomelouta.com. We got a lot of t-shirts to sell. Miss Deborah had to go up on the shipping because I got the shirts marked at the bottom rock bottom price. I can't, I can't, I can raise the price of the shirts and say free shipping, but it's still going to be the same. So you're getting the shirt at a good price. The shipping at post office just keeps going up, and I've been losing money on these shirts. I ain't even getting my money back because the post office it depends on where they going uh, uh, are killing the old fishermen. So I had to go up a little bit on the on the shipping, but. Uh, 
If you buy more than one item, hey, it don't cost you a dime. I have shipped stuff out that cost me $12, $13. Uh, depends on how far it goes out. And so when it's all said and done, I ain't made a thing. Uh, any, I still got a lot of shirts to sell and a few hats. We ain't got many hats left. But we're doing all right on the hats. But the shirts, the garnet and the uh, orange, uh, Carolina Clemson colored shirts, we have got a pile of them to sell. And I appreciate any orders, any support on that. Thanks for going uh, to my website, stevecumlana.com. And thanks for watching. And I know y'all get enough entertainment to at least buy a shirt. And I appreciate it. Hey, we got the fish down there. They just ain't that big, but they fun to catch. It's about like catching brim. They fun to catch. Man, poor Miss Deborah has got to drive that trip that I've come today, and she's got another 10 or uh, 5 miles. Well, actually, about another 8 miles to go. Then I had I, I unloaded a 99 boat ramp. She's got to come all the way back around. What well, used to be a uh, 18 mile trip and now she's got a 30 uh, almost a 40 mile trip to work it's a shame they got that bridge blocked like that uh, I sure hope they get on the ball and get that thing back open what an inconvenience to all the people that work at that plant unless you coming from Chester or uh, Columbia if you coming uh, from Pomeria, Chapin, Pete, Little Mountain all that man it's, it's a long ride for them people and, uh, and including the old fishermen try to go fishing over here Hey, we can be having some really, a lot of good perch action, catfish action. I've missed out. Shell crackers, because I didn't want to make the trip. And I know why, because I got over here this morning. I, I, hey, that was one heck of a drive for me. When I live right on Lake Murray, all I got to do is drive a couple miles and unload the boat. And I made myself come over here. It wasn't easy. I can tell you it wasn't easy. And, uh, but these fish, at least I'm catching some numbers. Now I ain't catching no big ones, but the bottom is covered. And uh, I'm sure with some big ones out here somewhere I got to get on. But right now the bottom is covered. They ain't hitting every time I reel it up though, but they all over the bottom. They getting used to me catching them is what they're doing. Uh, uh oh, got a knot in my line. That ain't good. Uh oh. That braid line gets a knot in. We in trouble. I'll get right back with y'all on this one. Hello folks, hey, we're back with you. I had to turn the camera off a little bit to fix some stuff, but we're back with you and we're gonna see if we can catch some more. There's another one. Oh my, there's another one. Hey Lord, there's another one. Huh, hey, day. Hey, that's a pretty nice one right there. Medium size, white perch, good eating size. Only go live mother. Gup live mother. Try to get this dog on a uh, spade tail jig running right. Want to curve in circles, and that ain't good when they curve in circles. Hey, we uh, we in 32 foot of water now. Went a little deeper and see if I can catch any bigger ones. And there's plenty of fish out there deeper. So these fish out here started at 20 and out 32 and still catching them. So see if we catch some more of them. Uh oh, didn't get one that time, but they down now. Circle this boat around. Sun is really bright here this morning, but we got some fish at 30, 33 foot, plenty of them. Plenty of them, get them to bite. Well, some of them could be catfish out there. Got it. We're dropping off the edge and that's probably not a good thing. I need to get back up on the hill. Get back up on the hill, we dropped off now it's 40 something. So. We need to get back up on the point of this ridge. What we need to do, we need to pull the trolling motor back up a little bit, right back up this hill. We want to get one kind of trolling it up this hill. Hopefully. They slowed up some, but there's plenty of fish still there. They just quit biting. We got to get them stirred back up again is what we got to do. And I'm thinking on the knoll is where we need to be up here. On the knoll. Slowed up though. 
plenty of fish down there. Good gracious. They everywhere. The old fish found ain't lying. They down there. Got to make them bite. Oh, there was one bump. I tell you, he got to reel it on up before they come up and get it. Let's get another angle on it. Make sure our jigs, oh, see, our jigs messed up. That's why we wasn't catching one right there. The jig got messed up. Can't have that. Now, now we'll catch one. Now we'll catch one, hopefully. Didn't go fishing yesterday. My son Clay had all four of his wisdom teeth cut out, and I had to go with him to the doctor and drive him back home. But that went well so far. He, he it was a, it's a, didn't bother him too bad. Believe it or not, they put him to sleep. And he didn't even know what happened. When he woke up, it was done. Hey, there you go. There's a fish. There's a fish. And he's got to take it easy for a couple of days. That's a pretty nice white perch. Not a super dog, but hey, he's a dog. He's a dog. Drop it back down to the bottom where the big boys lie. An old fisherman. Love him. I, I hope this mic's going to work out. I got it mounted. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it's mounted right there on a board. I got it wedged in there by my selfie stick. And uh, hey, I shouldn't have to shout anymore. Hopefully, I don't have to. And I can talk normal. I've done that because Lake Murray is hard to shout right in people's yards and they still sleeping up there early in the morning. So, hey, that's a nice one right there. That's a good one right there. That's a good one right there. I like to catch them like this on my boom, Daddy. Nah, that's a good one. See, just been spawning. See his tail, all, his fin all red. That joke is just laid out. And this is the time, man. You can't see these doggone white perch when they get laid out now. Hey, let's drop it down and catch another. We having fun, ain't we? Hey, tell your friends about the old fisherman. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. All you got to do is give them an email address. And every time I put up a, a new show, it uh, uh, lets you know it's supposed to. Anyhow, I don't know how good that works. But it's supposed to let you know. But, hey, we need subscriptions. And I appreciate it. If y'all tell your friends about the old fisherman, tell them to subscribe. And, uh, hey, loving life. Hey, I'll give you some of my best tips for catching largemouth on Lake Murray that I, w I normally wouldn't have done, but I'm sharing them with you. And I, and I heard uh, um, uh, Christopher Fox was in a bass tournament on Saturday. And, uh, hey, he come in second by doing what the old fisherman does. Takes that worm, get against the bank, slow down, smell the roses. And, and you can pluck some of them precious bass on that worm. Y'all seen how I've been catching a good one? That's a real good one. I don't know what that is. That's a nice one. That, that's a nice fish. Catfish. That's another, that's a catfish. What that is? See him shaking? See him shaking his head? Catfish. That's what it is. Old kitty cat. Look at that. Yes, sir. That's a good size. Miss Deborah loves him. That's old uh, channel. That's a blue. Had to look at him. The sun's got me blind. I can't see. Tell you what, this sun is something in the morning. Glistening off that water, that's something. Now that's a channel. Ain't no blue. That's a channel. Come in here. I can't see what color he is. See that? He's going to make a sandwich for Miss Deborah. Miss Deborah loves catfish. And Miss Deborah don't like black bass. She, I don't think she's ever eaten a black bass. But I do. I like that better than perch. I hate to say that, but I do. I told my dog on my, uh, my little mother up. I'm going to have to go back to Amazon and order me some more of these babies. I'm running out. The, the gulp alive minnow lasts a lot better than a, than the regular old gulp minnow. Uh, they're a little harder. So, I, 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 they ain't cheap, but I think you're getting your money's worth out of them um, if you can get them on there right. I, that's, the, that's the problem. Sometimes they're hard to get on there right. 
and you can't use a hook that's got a big barb on it it'll mess it up <coughs> all right oh there's fish out there good gracious sakes they everywhere out there seem to be biting pretty good <coughs> that's what they seem to be doing plenty of them there they spend it all out in there them bigger ones probably spend it ones See if we can catch one reeling it up. Can't believe I can get a bite. Can't believe it. I pulled it right through fish. Didn't we get a bite though. Turn this boat away, Miss Doggone Son. Boy, it's so nice over here. I can't get over how quiet it is. Oh my, it, it's like another world. I, I kind of wish I lived over here. If I lived on this lake, it'd be awful. You reckon I could catch them? Wouldn't have to drive? I ought to buy me a lot over here and build me a house over here. I ain't got too old to do all that though, but it'd be a nice place to live for me. Quite a lot better than living on Lake Murray with all them jet skis and ski boats and stuff. Over here, you're not allowed to use ski boats and, and jet skis. And you have got to love that. That's all I got to say. Although I have seen some people skiing in here, but they ain't supposed to be. I did want to go over there and try my worms, though, a little bit on the rocks. So I don't know. I just don't want to clean a lot of catfish. Now they're getting where they, they're plenty of fish there, but they're getting where they don't want to bite. Slowed up. And they are there. There he is. Oh, missed him. I had him. I had him for a little bit, huh? Twenty-eight foot now. Still biting it. I got another little spot right over here that I'm gonna try. I believe they'll be there. If they're here, they ought to be there. They're there. There's plenty of them, too. Can't tell you how many is on that fish farm. Oh, there he is. That's a good bite. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. That is a nice one. Oh yeah, that's the kind we're looking for right there now. That there is a jumbo magnum. That is what we're looking for right there, people. If I could get in some of them, I'd be a happy white boy. I would.